Hi, my name is Lester Thomas, and I'm going to give a brief demonstration of the ODA component Compliance Test Kit, or CTK. Now, the objective of this work is to build on the work already done in the Open API initiative, where every TM form Open API has a compliance test kit that's used to validate an implementation of the API is conformant with all of the design guidelines and the API standards. And our objective is to build a compliance test kit for an independently deployable software component. Now the component compliance test kits actually fall into two levels. And in the Open Digital Lab, we have three stages with a Kubernetes cluster for each stage. And the idea is that at the stage one, uh, it's almost a sandbox environment where any organization can come in and just test their components. The level one CTK then validates that those components are compliant with the base design guidelines for component envelope, like it's specified in the right way, so it becomes an independently deployable and, um, and self-describing component. Yeah? Now, I could deploy a component of any functional scope into this, and as long as it's compliant with the underlying design guidelines, it will pass the level one compliance test kit. The level two compliance is saying it is actually compliant with the functional scope of the TM form standard components, and I'm going to use the term golden components. So this is saying not only, not only is it compliant with the underlying design guidelines, but actually functionally it, it meets the mandatory requirements defined in these golden components. Now let me actually do a demonstration. So in my environment here, I have, uh, I'm in the CTK environment downloaded from the uh, TMform ODA Git repository. And in here, I can uh, execute any one of the level one or level two static or dynamic tests. And I've got some example components which I'm going to use for my tests. Now the the first one to do is actually the static example. And the idea of the, the static test is it's just testing the actual, the YAML definition, the component envelope YAML definition, and it's testing it's compliant with the design guidelines. It's not actually executing the running component. And I can run the static test by using npm run, then l1 static, and then I give it the path to my my YAML file, which is the component envelope. Now, typically, you might create your component envelope using Helm, and you can create this YAML by doing a Helm template to output the, the, YAML, the YAML chart. So, if I run the CTK, it's automatically going through a set of tests. The step zero is basic file test that is a valid uh, YAML definition. The step one is testing all the metadata against the design guidelines. So it's saying this contains a document of type component. It's within a supported version. We're currently in Sprint 3, so it's the V1 of the 3 version of the component definition. It's testing it's got the right metadata and the right spec, where the spec is where you, you describe things like the core function with exposed and dependent APIs. Um, it's actually testing that the Swagger file for those APIs is accessible. And then it's testing the security and management and the security in particular has to have a party role so the component is describing the roles that it needs. And the step two is then, you know, that YAML definition also contains the standard Kubernetes resources like the deployments and the services that that uh, is required to actually install that component. And it's checking that those standard resources are actually labeled so they belong to this component. Yeah. So that's the, the level one uh, static test. Now, if I want to run the dynamic test, I need to have my component deployed into a, uh, a standard Kubernetes environment. And if I do a kube control get components against the namespace where I've deployed this, you can see I have got this component deployed in Kubernetes, and it's saying that the deployment status is complete. So I can now run the, the level one dynamic test. And I run that similarly by saying npm run l1 dynamic, and give it the path to that um, component envelope. 
So now it's actually executing against my Kubernetes cluster. Yeah, so it's testing I can it's, it can access the Kubernetes correctly. Then it's testing that the component can be found and that the component is saying it's been deployed successfully, so the deployment status is complete. Then it's doing a runtime test of all the exposed APIs that component is, is saying it, it has. In this case, it's got a product catalog management API. And at the moment, it's just testing that you're getting a valid response. And the, the step three is it's doing a runtime test of the security. And for security, we're saying a component has to have a party role API. And that party role has to have at least one party role in it, which should match what's in the control role. And this is what's used for the bootstrapping of the component so the controller can actually call the, the APIs. So this is the level one dynamic test. So this component is compliant with the base design guidelines for a, for a proper component. For the level two, we've introduced this concept of, like I described as a golden component. So this is saying there is a, a standard component uh, defined in the TM forum that has a, a, a particular functional scope. And this work is uh, being defined um, within the ODA stream. And the example I'm going to use is the first one, which is TMFC001, a product catalog management component. So there's a team defining what do we expect as a standard product catalog? What's the minimum uh, requirement for that product catalog? And what you do to run the level two CTKs is you have to copy this um, this standard component and or the YAML definition for the standard component into your uh, CTK environment. So here I am. This is my uh, my local copy of the ODA component CTK, and you can see in here I've got a folder with golden components, and I've got the YAML definition of that golden component described here. So when I run the level two CTK, it is going to test it against the definition uh, in that golden component. And again, there's a static, which is just going to test the like the YAML sort of design time envelope that's compliant. And there's a dynamic which will actually go against the, the real running component. So the static one is basically testing that uh, that I've got a valid component uh, and it's testing that the type and version match one of the golden components. And then the step two is saying, I'm gonna look in the golden component and any mandatory API, I'm gonna check they are specified in the, ex in the exposed APIs of that, the component I've got uh, in my YAML definition. And so this case is past the, the static part of the level two uh, test the dynamic part is actually then going to use the open API CTKs to test each one of those APIs that is fully compliant with the OPI CTK spec. And again, I need to make sure in my environment that I have to have those open API CTKs available. And you can see this component actually uses two of the open API CTKs, the product catalog and the party role. So I'm making sure that these, these are available and these can be found in the open API table. So if I go into my open API table, for every open API, there is a, a CTK available to download and to test against. So if I run the, the level two CTK, I'll just warn you advance it, that this component, the CTK works correctly, but this component doesn't actually at the moment pass the level two dynamic uh, CTK. Um, so it's run the CTK, it's found the, the corresponding golden component, and it's going to use that golden component to decide which open API CTKs to run against it. And you can see that it's exercising uh, the open API CTK for product catalog management, and it's exercising the open API CTK for party role. And you can see that it's actually failing the tests, that's because the the implementation of my component isn't fully compliant with the uh, the open API CTK. And so it fails the test, so the CTK is working correctly. And you can actually see that it says, check the results folder for your results. And so if I go into, uh, into the same space, if I go into the results folder, 
for each open API CTK that it runs, it takes the output of that that CTK, and it uh, and the open API CTKs they show a, a human readable and a machine readable version of the outputs. And if I go to one of these, I can see uh, that it's uh, tested. You know, there's 47 test scripts which it ran with 471 assertions, and 91 of those have failed. And then you go and actually see the results. And actually, in this case. It's failed because my component isn't responding with a life cycle status. And I, I'm doing that for all of the responses. Um, but you see that the CTK itself is running correctly and it's exercising the component using the individual open API CTKs for the, for the APIs that that component is exposing. So that's the, the demo complete. Fine, I'll just show you where you can go for more information. Uh, this information is in the README in the, the TMform ODA, ODA component CTK part. There's a README which describes how all the different tests run, gives some sample output, and finally shows how you can develop and extend the CTK test. So the CTKs are written in Node.js and using this Mocha and Chai framework. So Mocha is a test framework and chai is an assertion library. And effectively, each test, you have a describe, which is part of the mocker frame. You describe what your your tests are, and you say um, it contains the document type, type component. And then you have a set of assertions. You can have one or more assertions. So we're saying, I expect uh, the component documentation to be not null. And I can have multiple tests, so here I'm testing for the spec has a type version description maintainers and owners and you then put an assertion so I do an expect that uh, the type is a string the version is a string the maintainers is an object so in this way this is how the actual the CTK is built and then finally it describes uh, how you actually then you need to have the the golden components and the open API CTK is available as the the level two dynamic actually build on top of the open API CTKs.